Queen Freaks and Jerker Puffs, what's up? Today I'm gonna be doing a deep cleaning of my kitchen. Now, in order to do a deep cleaning, we are gonna really have to get into what is up. No, 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 wait, back down here. Not the ceiling. What's up, up here? Up above where our eye can see can get so dusty, so dirty. And these are areas that really we should be deep cleaning at least once a year. Now last year I had a new baby, the year before of course I was pregnant. I'm pregnant again, but before I get too big, I really, really need to get this deep cleaning done. So we're gonna do that today. If I can't finish it today, we'll just carry it on into tomorrow. It's a big job, it's a messy job, so I've got my grubbies on. So let's get going. In general, I don't like to clean with chemicals, but to confess, I'm not really a purist. I do have bleach and other cleaners in my home, but when I can, I try to choose more natural cleaners. This is especially important to me now that I'm expecting. One thing that, if you've been watching my channel at all, you'll know that I love cleaning with my steam cleaner. It's chemical free and it really speeds up cleaning really messy jobs. You'll see a few examples of this today. So if you're new to our channel, thank you for watching. I hope this video motivates you to do some deep cleaning. If you like cleaning and organizing and disinfecting videos and sometimes cooking videos, make sure you hit subscribe and put a comment below saying hi. We always love to see who is joining our community. Now I'm also gonna be cleaning with my Branch Basics. I really love cleaning with Branch Basics. If you aren't familiar with their products, they are all natural cleaners that are hypoallergenic, fragrance-free, gluten-free, tree nut and peanut free, plant and mineral-based cleaning products that actually work. I also love that they have no harmful preservatives. You don't need to wear gloves when you're cleaning with it. You don't need to open windows when cleaning. You don't need to rinse the surface off when you're done. I also feel good knowing that you can reuse their bottles over and over. deep cleaning is, it isn't obvious that it needs to be done. Take my hood for example. From far back it looks fine, but if you get close you can tell that it's obviously time to be cleaned. These decorations above my cupboards have been here since I moved into this home nine years ago. I do like to dust them, but as I mentioned earlier, I haven't wanted to climb up here while pregnant or after having my C-section, so this is long overdue. Today I'm gonna pull down anything that looks like it needs it and I'm gonna wash off anything that looks too dusty. My eight-year-old thought it was fun to clean these glass pearls. Any area around the stove can develop a sticky foam. I hate it, I think it's really gross and I try to keep on top of it. The aerosolized oil settles on surfaces and combined with dust, it forms this sticky film. If you just try to dust it, it forms balls of dust and grease. The steam cleaner does an amazing job of quickly cleaning it up. Dust is like air and dirt and skin particles that just gather up. Kind of gross, huh? These are some of the shots that I had to give myself to get this pregnancy, or we are able to get this pregnancy through the blessing of uh, modern medicine and in vitro. And I kept these on top of the fridge to keep them out of reach of my other kids. I'm grateful to be done with them. So I'm gonna take these to the hospital so they can be disposed of properly. That's a lot of shots. This isn't even half of them. But again, we're so 
thrilled that it worked and that we get to have this baby in five more months. Now I'm not gonna reorganize my cupboards today, although I am planning to do that in the near future, so be sure to watch for that video coming up soon. Yeah, why were you keeping these away from me, Mom? They're just decorations. You want to have cake? You can watch this You do that one, I'll do this one. Okay, hang on. Got it, okay. <laughs> So as I was taking everything down, I liked the way things were looking without all that green foliage up there.
Lately, I've been feeling like less is more, and I've been slowly decluttering my home and trying to get rid of excess. There definitely seems to be excess up there above my cupboards, so now that it's down, I'd like to know your opinion. Put the green foliage back up or keep it down. Put that in the comment section below. Now my racks above the counter have been hanging here for years. I have to dust them too, but because they are in the kitchen, they also get that sticky film on it. So I'm gonna take them down one at a time and steam clean them. This works much better than just trying to dust them. I try to do this once a year as well. So I hope that this video inspired you to dive in and get those harder to reach places in your kitchen that needs to be deep cleaned. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the subscribe button and watch for our upcoming clean with me and cleaning hacks videos. Can't wait to see you there. Bye.